Boom with the early aggression. Just trying to force LGD away from the lane completely. I think this brood does fine in your webs. You've got plenty of health regen combined with the stick. I, I don't think this harass is... Well, I mean, okay, I take that back. It, it's it, it's hurting a bit, but, you know, you, you get decayed these tangos, you get more value out of them. That's that's one way to look at it. And it's all made with the first blood. Okay. Just a couple of raises there. Chase down the DP. A gift from the tempest of battle. Shinky back in the lane. Handing tangos over. Oh, Tiny was yeah, trying to play under the tower here, but difficult against the Storm Spirit. So 19-7 for nothing to say, taking an upper hand against the Tiny. Oh, yeah. Back up top, Tim's playing forward. Jackie dies bottom as well at the same time. Every lane you look into, there's people rebounding, pouncing, jumping onto targets, and Arme. And the stick's there from Tim's again, so it needs another long-range raise to finish the job. Oh. Arme going to be happy with how his lane's going. Has, has his CS contested a little like bit. Contesting and stealing jungle creeps from Jackie. Scam's going to zone him away, but they can't kill Disruptor. Yeah, coming oh, what, what in to stop Storm to get this six-minute rune. Yeah, Avalanche toss on a bushwhack. Oh, six. Rebound across the Storm, thinking about playing aggressively with the sidekick and the dispose. They kill off the Tim's hoodwink. Now Yopar's in trouble. No spells left for him. He's got one charges, but that's not going to save him. He got the regen rune, then died. The Elder is just so good. Zinq, would TP before, like... In anticipation of that, like before the bottom, then they're going to be giving up so much on the map and not have any playmaking whatsoever. Yeah, and moving in to that mid lane from bottom. Nothing to say, getting bushwhacked, but a glimpse back by Y. Going to drag Yopaj in towards Jin Q. And they've got this sidekick damage going, but the Marcy dropping lower and lower. And a tombstone defensively placed by Skem. It's going to keep LGD away. In the meantime, you know, Y did kill off the Death Prophet, though. That's tiny ancients area. A 13 to 1 odds there I just saw pop up on my screen. I mean, this, this series has felt like a foregone conclusion, but Boom have more chances this time than they did in game one. Oh, Yopaj, he's an opportunity here, but the Static Storm and Ames BKB shredding through the tiny with Faith Beyond's arrival. They'll take him down. I don't even lose the Marcy. They've still got exorcism, but I don't think they can take this fight. Three versus five. TA's Desolate is online, but without a Blink Dagger or a BKB, you can't really just expect to be able to run in, and LGD will be rewarded with a Roshan and Aegis to play around on Storm, one of the best Aegis carries in the game. Taking it over the Sheriff, and they've got a Glimpse catch on Skem as well. And these adorable little kill. spiders. The yeah. mechanical spiders just going in, giving vision. They've got High Ground Observer Ward there as well, but uh, LGD building on their lead. Aegis on the storm now. It's getting tough to watch. This game, it's definitely not over. Like, I remember you asking, like, last game, like, oh, do you have a chance? And it was very much like, eh, not really. No. But their window to win this game is, like, now. now. Yeah, it's, it's, they've got to, they can't afford to make any more slip ups. Okay, kill them, why? I mean, that's not the big kill they're looking for, but they need to play, basically, from here on out, play this game pretty flawlessly get a lot of value out of exorcisms and make all the right moves. Yeah, it has to be, you know, kill into D-Ward, into kill, into tower, into D-Ward, because the vision here from LGD is, is spot on. Yeah. They get rid of one orbs down in the bottom jungle. It's Boom, and they move into the triangle now onto Army, the minus armor and the damage, another big kill. Can they turn this into the tier one, into more vision control, into yeah. another jump maybe onto Jin Q? Got level two X looking to play into LGD. They can't just play keep away and try and farm. Five man smoke. They're looking for their next move. They've got to keep playing aggressive. They're going to see the storm TP bottom, so they know LGD is split up. They know any kind of, this SF could just be mid speed here. Yeah, there it is. The jump. Arme, bushwhack, chain stun, dead again. No chance to BKB. And in Q's Marcy, another one. Oh, it's getting interesting now. No longer a foregone conclusion. FBZ gets the Yule's cancel on the TP of Y. Chasing him in, forcing a static storm, killing the hero and looking for the courier as well. Another one, a target for Boom. But what's, what's next? There's no Roshan. There's no chance to go tier two. Where do they go? They're grouping up mid tier two for a smoke play of their own. Time to fight back. They've given up a lot of ground here to Boom. Let's see if LGD can reclaim it. They just gotta stop getting jumped. Like, they're getting jumped and not getting BKBs off. They wanna be the one side oh, storm. Fight. Tiny is in on the disruptor, and the two supports being blown up. But they've got the catch on the Tim's Hoodwink. Nothing to say, but it's BKB getting back out of danger now, though, as Arme just didn't have a chance to join the fight. Jesus Boom. On, though. They're on the hunt. 
They want to catch the Shadow Fiend, but he turns with some big hits. Yes, Takes down the DP and Jackie next up. Four down for Boom. What looked like a decent fight for them just turns on its head. Even the chase, I, in my mind, I was like, yeah, keep going. They just, I mean, if they take this fight, there's no storm. So LGD, I think rightfully recognized. Time to back off. Wait for Roshan. Boom, do have TA traps, so they'll know this Roche is alive, and they're charging forward. They want to fight, knowing that Storm is elsewhere. Yeah, Tiny's in, tosses back one. Tim's healed up by the Soul Rip, but Q, focused by the Templar Assassin, while FBZ got to be careful of this Shadow Fiend damage, and Tiny trapped inside the Static Storm, and he slowed down to a crawl and picked off. The damage was enough from the SF, launching it from the high ground, and FPZ's walked back in to potentially death himself. Glimmer came up for the meantime, but the fade time wasn't fast enough. Man. SF just hitting his stride and causing all kinds of problems. They win that fight. Fight Stop. now and get Rochette. That is Boom's win condition this game. And pick off whoever they can find. Yep. Oh, Scam. He glimmers up to high ground, but they've been scouted. Smoke broken. Vision given. And it's in queue with our mate. They see Scam there. He's, he's all alone. <laughs> Two quick hits from our mate. Clears him up while the tiny... Aiming Disruptor doesn't have the same luxury of blowing up a support. Now caught out by the Storm and dragged back with a glimpse. 50 seconds without a tie and he gives a free Roshan to LGD here. Did finish off the support with the tree toss, but he's not going to feel great at buildings. Just melting the minus armor from the AC plus the presence. Adding up significantly. Faith Beyond just going to BKB, making sure he doesn't get tossed back in or anything. And they'll go from mid lane to bottom lane with a glimpse back. Your may tiny. just die. A straight up dead with no buyback on him. DP and the Hoodwink gone. The Tims will spend his buyback to try and defend this final lane of barracks. But LGD, they're in fifth gear now. Day three of the group stage, they are showing up and look unstoppable. Boom, not standing a chance. And even with some cool plays in the mid game to chain smokes together. They are losing their base. The foundation has been shaken, and Arme is taking down the TA now. No buyback on Jackie. A Yules from FBZ will buy a little bit of time with his BKB up, but it's all over. A 2-0 victory in about 50 minutes here. First game was 25-odd minutes, 30, 31 for LGD in game two. Straightforward victory. A better game two, and I think a, a game two where... I still got to I don't think Boom get out drafted this game. Game one, the draft was a disaster. This time around, it's just pure outplay, out execution uh, individually, like nothing to say.